first about again the thing about hitting it's it's most important thing is hitting's about I always say hitting's about balance and pitching's about throwing that balance off. And so we talked about it before. I'm going to review a couple things, but the most important thing is is that there's two types of balance. You got your dynamic balance and you have your static balance. Okay? Your static balance is just your balance staying still. You're not moving. Okay? That's static balance and dynamic balance is balance while you're moving. Okay? Now, am I good? Right here. A little closer to here. Okay. Dynamic balance. Your kids should be practicing dynamic balance. They can do it at home. Okay? They can do it without a bat. You know, you just if you can't if you can't finish balance just by doing this, and you should be able to hold it, one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. If you can't do that without a bat, or if you can't do that with a bat just by swinging dry, then there's no way you're going to stay balanced when you're hitting a pitch ball. So you really want to emphasize that, have your kids work on that at home, of just working on staying balanced and finishing, and notice that when I finish, I've got all my weight through. We're going to talk about that lower body shift in a minute. But we talked about the first balance test of just being able to get in a stance and not being able to push over. And for some kids that struggle with that, I always say, you know, what other sports do you play? And usually I say, do you play basketball? And I say, show me your defensive stance. And so they stand up like this. And so I said, okay, I'm dribbling, guard me. And they're like this. And I just run right around them. Okay? So I say, you know, in order for you to play defense, get me, now get in a better defensive stance. And so then they get down like this. Freeze. Put the bat in your hand, put a bat in your hand, there you, go, there you go. That's your balance position. That'll create static balance for you. Okay? And then as you go through dynamic balance, it's just throw the hand, stay balanced, and I'll get into more mechanics there. But the point being is that you have to teach the idea of balance. And you can also, you know, I've seen, we've done a drill where you can take a piece of plywood, you know, or kind of sort of create some type of balance beam or have them stand on the curb and just have them swing and if they can stay on that balance beam without falling over that's a real good drill you could do and you can just build that with just a couple pieces of wood have them stand on that platform that's real small and just have them work on their swing while they're standing on that that should help their balance okay um, it's really easy to do kids could work on that on the on deck circle even if you had the ability to make something like that or find something or build something